Okay, it's a working day in my garage again. I mounted real horns on my Yamaha Royal Star Venture. I bought these horns on eBay not working. These are the uh, these are very good horns. They uh, they came stock on my Moto Guzzi and I never knew what real horns were like till I bought my first Moto Guzzi in 1980. They come with real horns and I have been a fan and I buy these whenever they show up on eBay and I have two sets right here. Uh, they didn't work and it's pretty simple to fix them. I just drilled out the rivets. This one has the original rivets in it. I just drilled out the rivets, took the grill off, to pulled that center out and uh, cleaned the points inside and uh, put them back together and uh, they are pretty uh, attention getting. I didn't uh, clean these ones up yet, but uh, I got them all working and I decided to go with the chrome ones, so I uh, painted those. Uh, these here I'll save for my next bike. But anyway, the original horn was right here, one of them, and it was fed the wire harness came down here and plugged onto these two terminals. Okay, and they use pretty thin wire. I don't know if it's number 14 or number 16 wire. Uh, that's why these horns aren't very loud. Uh, they're designed to run with skinny wire. You have to think of electricity flowing through wire the way you would think of water flowing through a hose or a pipe. The larger the hose, the more water can flow. The larger the wire, the more amps can flow through the wire. Okay, so I took the wires off of the horn and connected them to a horn relay. All a horn relay is a switch. Now you can feed this, the control terminals, with skinny wire because it doesn't take a lot of power to energize a little coil in there that when you push your horn button it closes the switch you let go of the button it opens the switch that closing of the switch connects the two terminals that have a direct path from battery to one post on the uh, horn relay then when you push the button on your horn it closes the switch and it flows to the horn it goes through the horn to ground and that's your circuits just like a light bulb so I mounted them to the rear bolts here's uh, here's how they they came they come with a bracket I have the bracket mounted right there that's the way they're mounted on the machine and uh, they're out of the way and uh, that wasn't too tough of a job now I did all of my connections I used number 12 wire and I crimped the uh, female spade connectors that slip on these terminals I crimped them and then I soldered them I do not trust those crimpers these uh, female spade push-on connectors. Uh, you bump the wire, or they just come out all by themselves. Uh, so uh, I always solder them. But anyway, the first horn was mounted over there where I showed you. And <laughs> the second horn, it must have been uh, hide the horn day when they designed the Yamaha Royal Star Venture because the horn is in this sealed compartment in front of the shifter, the second horn. There's no wonder these horns are <laughs> not very loud. It's in there, I retired it in position. I just pulled the wires off the horn and uh, left it in there. Uh, so I have, there's the second horn. Mounted to the rear bolt on my passenger foot peg brackets. Now, that horn over there 
is the one that gets fed from the battery, from the relay to the horn, and then that this horn is fed from that horn. Just a jumper that comes over and feeds the horn one wire, and I have a second wire that goes from the second terminal on the horn just to ground. It's only about four inches long. It goes from the terminal to this nut with a ring connector. And uh, that's it. Now I'm gonna beep the horn, I'm gonna count, and I'm gonna talk in a normal voice. I don't know that you'll be able to appreciate how loud these horns are on the video, but I'll just start counting to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how loud they are. Definitely will wake up some sleeping dreamers. So, another, uh, another job completed on my venture. I'll see you there.